everyone. Welcome to Minyeon Natisha와 함께하는 디바른 태국어. I'm Natisha, and I'll be your Thai lesson instructor. There are 15 chapters that are divided by the themes. For example, vehicle. We're going to learn about the cars and the traffic. I hope you enjoy it. But today's lesson is going to be about the introduction to Thai. But before we begin, I would like to introduce you the basics that you should keep in mind when you learn Thai. Thai is a language spoken by 65 million Thais, and it is a tonal language which each syllable has its own meaning according to the tone. There are 44 alphabets and 32 vowels, and also 5 tones with 4 tones markers. For the grammars, Thai has similar sentence structure and word order to English, which is Subject, a verb, and an object. For example, I drink water. Chan dum nam. Chan means I and is put first as the subject. But chan here is I only for girls. If you're a guy, then you have to say pom. Next word is dum, is to drink, which is the verb followed after the subject. And lastly, nam is water which is the object of the sentence and is put after the verb. The negative word, or no, is always before the verb. For example, I don't eat. Chan mai gin. Chan means I. Gin means to eat. And the negative word mai, which means no, is put before the verb to eat. So, mai gin, do not eat. As I mentioned earlier that Thai is a tonal language, so please be careful how you pronounce the word. When you say the word mai, please keep in mind that the word is short and stressed. Let's try together. Mai. Mai. Because this word is pronounced similar to the other words, so you have to be careful. Adjectives are after the noun that they modify. For example, I have a nice shirt. Chan mi se soi. As you may know by now that chan means I. Mi is to have, si is shirt, and soi means beautiful or nice, which is put after the noun, so si soi, or nice shirt. Adverbs are always after the verb or at the end of the sentence. For example, I eat slowly. Chan gin cha, chan, I, gin, to eat, cha is slowly. So cha is put after the verb to describe how the subject is doing that action. So gin cha, eat slowly. The time indicator is always a word offering the tense. Unlike in Korean or in English that they have the time indicator shown by conjugating the verbs. In Thai, we have to just put some certain words into the sentence to show the tense. For example, I already ate rice. This sentence is past tense, which said Chan gin khao lao. The time indicator in this sentence is lao, which means already. Chan, I, gin, to eat. Khao is a new word, means rice. And lao is already. So the whole sentence means I already ate rice. Another example, I am eating rice. Which tense is this one? Yes, the present continuous tense, right? So, Chan gam lang gin khao. Chan, I, gin, eat, khao, rice. So, can you guess now which word is the time indicator? What? Yes, gam lang. So, gam lang means to be going to in English, which shows the continuity of the action. Chan gam lang gin khao. I'm eating rice. And last example, I will eat rice. Chan ja gin khao. This is present future tense. To make a sentence to future tense, we need the word da. And this word is put before verb to indicate the future. Just like in this sentence, you can see that da is put before the word gin, which means to eat, that works as a verb. So don't try to make that face, don't look sad. Let's not worry about it now, because I will go through the tense later when we study the later chapters. And what about the question? How do you make a question? 
you need a question word, right? Yes, we have many question words in Thai also. The question words are always at the end of the sentence. Here are the question words. What? Arai. Where? Tinai. When? Murai. Why? Tamai. How? Yang Rai. Who? Cry. Which? Anai. How much? Tao Rai. How many? Gi. Yes, no question. My and have you? Ru Yang. For example, what are you doing? Kun is you. Gamlang signifies this present continuous tense that means to be going to. Tam is to do. And lastly, question word arai, which means what, and is put at the end of sentence. Kun gamlang tam arai. Another example, whom do you go with? Kun pai kap krai. Kun, you. Pai, to go. Gap is with. And krai is question word for who. Just like in Korean, Thai also has the counting units, and these words are always behind a number. For example, one apple. Apple ning pon. Apple is apple with Thai accent. Pon is the counting unit for fruit, and ning means one. Don't be startled yet. We will learn the numbers and the counting units along the lessons. Um, once again. The thing that you should keep in mind in Thai is that there are long and short vowel sounds. Like I have mentioned earlier, that each word or syllable has its own meaning. So you, how you pronounce each word is important. So the short and long vowel sounds changing the meaning of the words. For example, don't blame the kid, ya du lu, or don't look at the kid, ya du lu. The word and du and do. Are different. The first one is short, do, and the later one is do, which is long. Do in the first sentence means to blame or to give a lecture, and the latter one, do, means to look. Now that we know some basic rules in Thai language, how about we learn some expressions for the greetings? First of all, there there is one difference between guys and girls when speaking Thai. Well, we have one simple ending to make the sentence polite, which is similar to yo form in Korean. The ending for guys is krap, and for girls it's ka. It doesn't matter which gender you're speaking to, but it's your own gender that matters. Well, for example, I'm a girl, so all of my sentences will end with ka. Mm, now let's learn the greetings in Thai. The most common Thai word that foreigners know and you might have heard before is "sawadi." "Sawadi" means hello. Um, the plus point is that this word "sawadi" can be used for both hello and goodbye. So let's practice together. "Sawadi." Try to repeat after me. "Sawadi." Again. "Sawadi." And like I mentioned earlier about the difference between the ending for the guys and the girls, so you will say either sawadi krap or sawadi ka. Let's try again with the polite ending. So for the guys first, sawadi krap, sawadi krap, and for the girls, sawadi ka, sawadi ka. Every time you say this word, culturally you have to do the y. Why is this? So you put your hands together in the middle of your chest, and you nod your head towards your hand. So, sawadi ka. This is how we greet and say goodbye. And another expression that you would use a lot accordingly is "How are you?" In Thai, we say "sabai di mai." Sabai di means fine. Di means good. And my is a question word, which means or not. So it's a yes/no question that requires just yes or no for the answer. 
And it's the question was, so the tone is raised. My. So the whole sentence really literally means, are you fine? Which is, how are you in English? Let's practice the sentence together. Repeat after me. Sabai mai. Sabai di mai. And with the polite ending. So with the guys first. Sabai di mai krab. Sabai di mai krab. And for girls. Sabai di mai ka. Sabai di mai ka. The answer to this question is either yes, I'm fine, or no, I'm not. So if you're fine, the answer would be sabai di. So just repeat the question by dropping off the question word. And if you're not fine, the answer would be my sabai, which means I'm sick or I'm not feeling well. So there's something new in this sentence, which is a negative form. The word my means no, right? So it's put before the verb sabai. So my sabai. And another word that you will use a lot is thank you. In Thai we say kop kun. Kop kun. Try to say it together. Kop kun. And with the polite ending for the guys, kop kun krab. Kop kun krab. And then for girls, kop kun ka. Kop kun ka. So how about we try short conversation from the vocabularies we learned today? So let's read it out together. สวัสดีค่ะ. สวัสดีครับ. สบายดีไหมคะ? สบายดีครับ. ขอบคุณครับ. Let's try again. สวัสดีค่ะ. สวัสดีครับ. สบายดีไหมคะ? สบายดีครับ. ขอบคุณครับ. So how about now I'll be A and you'll be B. I'll start first. สวัสดีค่ะ. สบายดีไหมคะ? One more time. สวัสดีค่ะ. สบายดีไหมคะ? And lastly, I'll be B instead. So you go first. สวัสดีครับ. สบายดีครับ. ขอบคุณครับ. Again. สวัสดีครับ. สบายดีครับ. ขอบคุณครับ. Well, that's it for today. We will learn more about the greetings again next chapter. So, for now, สวัสดี and see you next time.